Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome back to the Rose Gardens in Tora Vera, the Celestial Tower. Can we break these? We can indeed, lovely. Let's see if we can get any more items out of all this. Or just another clue really for this puzzle. There seems to be a bit of a, a weighing puzzle. And everything is weighing on us to be able to solve it, don't you think? Otherwise we won't be able to progress through the game. Stone Cleaver again, need to use another mana item for our wonderful friend who is using the sword, Sigurd. So, still nothing. These are just purely for decoration, it would seem. Hmm. A rather elaborate scale, operated by a chain and pulley and decorated with figures of a woman and a man. The scale beneath a man is currently lowered while the scale beneath a woman is raised. Hmm. A granite slab sits on the scale. Upon the slab is an inscription. Five ways say failure, yet the ways I failed are many more still. Ugh. Jeez. Either this thing is heavier than it looks, or it's attached to the scale itself. I can't even budge it. Uh, Edwig? Um, I... I kind of need your puzzle solving skills right about now. Uh, 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 well, it's clearly a weight based riddle, so I suspect we'll have to counter this weight with something else. I see. Guess we've got to find something to put on the other end then, don't we? Hmm, it's so heavy, it's put there with force. So, how many were in here? Uh, five ways of failure. So it's a bit of a riddle alongside some math issues. <laughs> and we've got some giggly issues here. Stop it. Let me leave, please. I don't have the resources to fight you. Her virtue is worth so much more than my sins. Right. Hmm. Four wounds heart. It was our full wound hearts held together by her love? No. Mm, one warm smile to brighten my darkest days. Darkest days. Inscribing the amount of days that you've been in the pits of hell for. Three words from her lips I can only dream of hearing. Well, we can always start again if things go wrong. Granite slab C. This side of the scale is empty. Put a weight. Maybe we're supposed to just grab all of them. You place granite slab C. Scale, granite slab C on the scale. Nothing happened. Oh, stop it, please. Right. One warm smile. Maybe it's like a mathematical equation. Supposed to be equal, one of us supposed to be unequal. Uh, place another weight. Still nothing. And that one. Maybe we need to remove C, because there's five of them here. And I think there's too many here. Uh, remove weights. Okay, let's try A and B. Guy doesn't. Guy doesn't uh, punish you if you get it wrong. Okay, so A and D. Place another weight. Oh. Did that do it? Uh. Okay. Still can't do anything with that. Hmm. Okay, so they weighed it even, but yet nothing's happened. Right, let's try C and D. Place. 
Ahde. Outweighs it. Ah, so it's outweigh it. Whew. Another word of solve by the heroes of justice. But I guess this means you don't need these other weights after all. What should we do with a Medwick? Get rid of them, obviously. We've no use for rocks with melodramatic garbage scribbled on them. I was just asking, sheesh, you don't need to be so rude about it. Forgive me. That came out far more crass than I intended. Just dispose of them for us, won't you? You got rid of her granite slabs. Uh, and obviously an enemy just has to peek its head towards us and do what it normally does. I need more of these items. Em nice. Um, we use that for the uh, ones with a higher MP count. What's grief eater? So they're here in the gardens too. So it seems we should have realized that they'd follow us up, follow us up with a tower like this. But Dark One is quite persistent in his efforts, after all. Damn it. Well, if our enemy isn't going to relent, then neither will we. Let's go, Edric. Hello, Grief Eater. Welcome back to your demise. Being here is only one thing for you, and that is for you to disappear. Nice. <laughs> No way you'd be able to strike at us if you're paralyzed. I always prefer paralysis over anything else. Can we get mana for- no, no, no effect on you. Damn it, you. And again, the same out. I think this one's taking a bit more damage. Hmm, maybe it was the same amount of health. I'm just over-exaggerating things. Goodbye, you. I hope we will meet again on the afterlife in the afterlife far far in the future more then uh two of you just had to do that didn't you now all right thunderclap this not work nice hmm. i think maybe it's just better to tackle one at a time and Oh, I was gonna say, Edric does more damage if he just does a dual strike rather than the um, Horde Crusher. And it's not exactly a Horde when there's only two of them. Would you please work? You distaste me, dead ones. Thank you. Thank you for doing that for me. Right. You do that, and then you. Give him a mana tonic. Thank you. Without campfire or Lydia to heal us, it's just horrible. This game is really putting us to the test in our item resource mechanics. Or how we, how we go about using items, in fact. Nice. Take you lot away. What have we got here? Emerald earrings. That sounds good to me. Um, let's see. Equipped. Uh, boost Earth Elemental Resistance. I kind of like that, since the majority of these do have, um, the Earth Elements. We'll keep four Sapphire Medlands. Um, just mainly because of their functionality. We may need water resistant yeah, but for goodness sakes. Okay, now it's time to use Horde Crusher. And then, um, try and paralyze one of them, please. Thank you! That's good. And then try and paralyze one of the other ones. Uh, good. Thunderclap B. Nope. Nice, nice, nice. Would you really put Rally Cry on? Deep sleep. That's no good. I don't like the sound of that, thank you very much. Um, restore HP for... Uh, Sigurd. Is less resistant to magic damage. And that's what these guys are doing. 85. Q. 
keep going, friends. Um, do need another one for a cigarette. Just hopefully one of them. Nice. Okay. Last leg of the journey. Right then, then we'll defeat the one that has not got it. Nice. Thank goodness you hit with one of them anyways. <laughs> we are defeating these grief eaters. There's no way you'll be able to surpass us. Two big burly men. Well, one of them is big and burly. The other one is um, a mage. What's this way then? Nice. You found half of a golden key. Really? After any all those grief eaters, the least they could do is give us the whole key. Quit your belly aching, Sigurd. You ought to know by now it's never that easy. In any case, it looks like there's another one of those watchtowers on the other side of the garden. I'm almost certain we'll find the other half of the key there. I agree as well. Nothing there. And... Nice. Got a herbal medicine out of that. Excellent. Just hoping that we don't get any random encounters in these towers. Or out here for that manner. matter. What's that there? Oh, that was the other one that we should have grabbed. That's fine. That's, that must have been the, the B one. The second one. The one that we didn't grab. <laughs> Put it simply. Is there going to be another event like this ahead? A stone reef. Huh? What the? Oh, chosen ones. You who seek salvation for the weak and weary, hear my plea, for my solemn end is nearing. Find me a cure, a cure of flowers blooming bright, for with it I may finally regain my might. It spoke, and by the looks of it, we have to make it. So we'll have to make it some sort of offering if we want to proceed. Yeah, but what do you think it meant by my solemn end is nearing? Yeah, I would assume it's simply part of a riddle. I wouldn't put too much thought into it if I were you. The phrase we truly need to focus on is a cure of flowers blooming bright. Let's see if we're carrying anything matching the description. Um... This seems like a bit of a riddle, and one without a lead to it. We may need to look in the other areas before we can actually come back here and solve the riddle. Unless, of course, the answer is right there in front of us, and we don't know what we're doing. Well, me anyways. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm sure you guys who have probably already completed the game by now would know what you're doing exactly, I and mean, then you're moaning down the monitor because I don't know what I'm doing, but you know what to do, but yet I don't know, but you know. And that's just the horrors of life, really. <laughs> the horrors of being a less player, because you're always behind everyone else. Ugh. No, it's not a short process. Hmm. Find me a cure flowers blooming bright. Okay. Off. Uh, water of life. You place some water of life in the statue's mouth. Yeek. Guess that wasn't what it wanted. Clearly. What a waste of perfectly good supplies. Ow. Well, I don't know what you mean. Cure of flowers. Cure of flowers.
Let's look at each thing. Rare herbs, mana restoration, concentration, medicine, stimulant. This is the first time I'm completely stumped. Some riddles so cryptic. Oh, uh, you mean a flower, but we don't have any flowers in our. Would you go away? I do not want you at this point in time. Oh, uh, you're only gigging at me because I can't escape. Alright, let's save the game. I'm guessing it's nothing in our inventory. We're just going to just go with that. Let's try all of them and see where we get at. Herbal med... An herb of healing now courses through my veins, but it's not enough to stave away my pain. Bring me a drug that cures atropy. For I am paralyzed by the fear of eternity. Paralyzed is the clue there. Stimulant. Nice. A jolt of energy springs my muscles to life, yet it's still not enough to ease my inner strife. Give me the cure that the fungi hive wolf. For my heart is played with the most toxic of force. Um, an antidote. Nice. I get it now. The poison in my blood is now pure and cleansed, but this will only delay my inevitable end. Bring me a panacea for all my ills, for this accursed disease ravages my body still. Panacea is in like it revives, I think. Thank you. Oh, uh, what? Okay. What else works as a panacea? It's not that. The, the, the spawn rate every time you interact with something is way too high. Like, you exit out of something and you just interact with a goddamn monster. Go away! Oh god, what the hell could it be? Um, it's like, what else acts as a reviver? Like a panacea does? And I know I'm mispronouncing it. I'm just going to go with the name of it. Alas, even a drug such as this for, well, fails me, as nothing but a miracle could cure me with what ails me. Ah, if I could only find the fountain of life, I would pray that the waters would finally end my strife. If it's not water of life, I swear to God, I am going to completely restart this area. Thank you, kind heroes. Your valiant deeds have moved me. I will now open your path for this task behoves me. You could have literally just opened it. <sighs> this is the first time I've actually become a bit frustrated. All must perish and all one day must stand at, stands at heaven's gate. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is a simple riddle, but for me, it just wasn't. But what? But we gave it. That was the point of a riddle, an attempt to frighten us by reminding us of our own morality. It's nothing but threats. You ought to realise that by now, Sigurd. Right. Yeah, you're right. Let's keep going, Edric. Apologies for that. I don't usually get like that, but it's only under very, very rare circumstances, like when a riddle just gets the better of me. Like that one. 
I just have a natural hatred for riddles that don't make sense. In my head, it may not make any sense, but for you guys, it might make a perfect amount of sense. You just had to do that, didn't you? Thank you for waking me up. Yeah, a mana... The mana siphon doesn't work on Grief Eaters. Just like it doesn't work on most enemies, just to say that right out loud. Fall and nice. Good. Be on your merry way, please. Alright, 150. There we go. That's used to order for the next few decades. Hmm. Literally, we can just dual strike one of them and thunderclap the other. No, it didn't work. Dark energy. Edric begins to doubt himself. Don't you dare do that, my friend. Please cause paralysis. We're running on, f on fumes here. <laughs> Thunderclap again. Oh, how much HP do you guys have, honestly? I've dealt like 700 damage to one of you. Thank you, Paralysis. How much HP do you have? Thank you. Oh, great. As always, we are always given the long straw of status ailments, like ours last for a lot longer than theirs. Such as the way of time-based, sorry, turn-based strategy games. I us say time-based, that's real time. It's, just, it's always a case where the allies or us, whenever we get a status ailment, we get it for a whole, whole lot longer than the enemy does. That's just a hundred percent guarantee in any game of this caliber. Water of life. Thank you. We needed that. You have that. And we'll be on our merry way. Once we get past this tower, we'll be all good. Hopefully. Good. We'll do that. Let me test let me just test it again. So why does it work sometimes and other times it doesn't work? That makes no sense. It's like a probability factor. But unlike Pickpocket, where the enemy has an item or doesn't have an item, this one's just incredibly randomized. Doesn't work, really. Using Sigurd for all the damage. He's the only that's capable of doing any diff significant damage towards these ghosts. Thank you. Paralyzed, nice. At least one of them's paralyzed. Thank you. Keep doing that then. Thank you. You use a mana tonic on him. If I knew this was going to be the case, then I would have just literally farmed for items before facing the Ice Guardian. Like, I'll just stay behind until, like, got 99 of every item, because this section is literally running me dry. <laughs> uh, I think that's the point of some of these sections, is that they're supposed to test you. And there are going to be times where one may need to backtrack to a previous save file so that such calamities won't occur in the first place. Nice, we can put half beats two halves together but uh, how are we supposed to put it together we don't we didn't exactly put glue on our list of adventuring gear after all no need to worry about that the key if you will use you welded them together you put the two key halves together to create the golden key whoa did you just you welded them ah concentrate a high amount i oh, sorry a high enough quantity of elemental energy to weld it together with my bare hands why well, yes yes i did 
Well, I was going to say how great an idea that was, but now you're clearly just showing off. <laughs> oh dear. However will I live without your praise and approval? Hold on, what's this? There's something engraved on this key. Uh, oh gosh. How do you pronounce his name again? I know, I know, uh, I think I know anyways. Hold on, uh, go to my comments section. Viveka, Viveka. Indeed. Let's pay this so-called Duchess a visit then, shall we? Uh, if we have to defeat this fiend on our own, I swear there's going to be somebody's head resting on top of Sigurd's sword. <laughs> I'm I'm so crap with insults, I'm not gonna lie. So you have to think of these things up on the spot and with me being me and doing me things, it's just not gonna work, is it now? I mean part riddle and part uh, well mainly TBS is why I really avoid TBS games. Because a lot of the time is literally just spent grinding. That's like the only thing you're doing and that's grinding. And there's also this factor where you can't escape sometimes and it uses up even more time. And it's just down to personal presumption. It has nothing to do with anybody's ability to create a game. It is just my own personal reflection on what a game should have and what a game shouldn't have. And that's why I play, I play these sort of games very rarely, because of the amount of time needed to spend in order to advance through the game that's off camera. And that's called grinding, that's called farming. It's the whole process of just putting up with some of this BS, what one would call it, so that you'll be able to get to the later part of the games without struggling as much. Ooh, enough of that rambling. Now we can cure our characters. Thank you. And now we can unlock the door. Locked. Golden key. You used the golden key. Hmm. So this is where that lady Vivica lives. She's probably not going to be too happy about us barging in here. I doubt it. Moreover, by storming her manor, we'll likely be granting up, well, granting her the upper hand. Home turf advantage her. We'll need to make sure we're well prepared then. I concur. From what we know so far, these guardians display far greater intelligence than the others we face. We must be ready for anything she throws our way. Well, unfortunately, there's nowhere for a campfire, and there's nowhere <laughs> to shop. So I guess we're as ready as any can be. Hmm. Whoa, fancy. I guess she really lives up to her title, doesn't she? Hmm. Nobility or not, she's an ally of the Dark One, and therefore our enemy. Now let's find this elusive duchess and end her reign once and for all. I wish we can have our allies with us. I wish it was just two of us, but there's four of us. Like, really? Okay. Let's use Stone Cleaver on these, then. Hopefully we might get one other item, like potent medicine. Uh, this. It's like the developers really hit us hard in this scenario where the other two scenarios or sections were quite free-flowing. This one's much more rigid. And it's a good challenge. But for me, a good challenge also requires still the ability to save and get items and have a place to camp out as it were but we only got one item out of all that oh dear at least i know for the next time i need to do that one <laughs> let's go for the rest of my let's play and see what goes on hmm, a letter a letter in an envelope lies on the floor emblazoned with a red rose seal read the letter yes 
Dear esteemed guests, Sir Sigurd and Sir Edric, so you managed to find your way into my private residence after all. I must admit, I'm rather impressed, obeyed, agitated at your perseverance. I suppose the only proper way to reward you both for your efforts is to cordially invite you to my tea party. Please proceed to the elevator and make your way down to the dining room. Do not keep me waiting. I tend to become quite cross when my guests are late. Her, her, excellency, her excellency, get it off my tongue, Viveka, Duchess of the Rose Garden. I know I've bottled that at least once, damn it. So she already knows of our presence. I can only assume that this tea party of hers is nothing more than a facade for her true intentions. Do you expect anything less from a minion of the Dark One? She's simply taunting us at this point. Let's go crush her party and make that conniving witch tell us where Ruby and Lydia are. That sounds good. I like the shield of that. Um, another slot, please. A, a small elevator shaft. Very oddly laid out and very enclosed this scenario. We can't go to the side at any point. Everywhere's barreled up, roped up. Roped up, I mean. Looks like this elevator is going to be our way to the Guardian after all. Honestly, I don't like the looks of this. Neither do I. It looks much too small for the both of us to ride it together. This has to be intentional. Yet another attempt to isolate us by the Dark One and its servants. Exactly. It's almost as if the tower itself is designed to force us into these situations. Not to mention the Guardian clearly knows we're here. If she is indeed watching us... She'll know we're coming no matter how which she know we are coming no matter how we find a way to Okay, that makes sense. It was me again. Good point. Why do you think we should What do you think we should do then, Edric? Well, we could try to use her expectations against her. One of us will use the elevator and confront her directly, acting as a decoy while the other searches for another way down. Good thinking. She can't watch both of us if she's dealing with a decoy. And then, when she least expects it, the other person will ambush her, right? Something like that, yes. But the decoy, the decoy will put himself at risk by confronting her alone. Therefore, we need to choose carefully which one of us will go. Um, There's only really one decision here, and that's Sigurd. I'll go. Someone's got to put themselves in danger, and I'd rather be at me. I have a feeling you would say that. Honestly, Sigurd, your compulsive heroism is going to get you killed one of these days. <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Edric. But seriously, you're probably better suited for scouting the manor than I am. You'd think to look in places I would never would. If anyone's going to find another way to the Guardian, it'll be you. I can handle a one-on-one -on -one fight with some cocky noble woman so don't worry about me all right hmm if you say so just don't do anything stupid down there right i'll be counting you edric i think she knows that as well What on earth? Sigurd, the elevator's malfunctioning, you need to... Sigurd? Sigurd, answer me! Sigurd! Ugh, my head. Where am I? I remember being in the elevator and then... It is Vivica. Huh? That smell. Is that tea? Oh, hi there. What? What is this? <laughs> Why, hello there, Sir Knight. We've been expecting you. Indeed we have. Milady has been ever so anxious to meet you. 
Nagas, then this is... Hmm, damn it, I can't move. When I get these vines off of me, I swear by the four I'll... Oh, so you are awake after all. You may take your leave now, ladies. The knight and I have important matters to discuss. Privately. Yes, Lady Vivica. Vivica. I hate complicated words. You. So you're the Duchess, huh? You're the guardian of these gardens, aren't you? How dare you keep me tied up like this? Release me and fight me with honor, you coward. My, my, we've barely even met. And you already wish to do battle? You're certainly as bold as they say, Sir Sigurd. But I believe you have misunderstood my invitation. I have no intention of fighting you here. Then explain the stupid elevator that you put in place that malfunctioned. After all, this is a tea party. So how about we settle our differences like civilized beings instead? As if a servant of evil can call themselves civilized. I've had enough of your nonsense, servant. If it isn't a fight you want, then what is it? Why, my dear knight? I only wish to inform you of what you and your little band of do-gooders have gotten yourselves into. You seem to be un well, you seem to be under the oppression that the salvation of your world lies at the top of Tora Vero, but I can assure you it's anything but. Don't try and sway me. What the hell are you talking about? The only thing laying at the top is the dark one. And that's exactly who we've become we've come to defeat, sorry. <laughs> You keep laughing, don't you? Ha ha ha, you really don't know anything, do you? Very well then, allow me to elaborate. This tower, Tora Vero, is much more than meets the eye. In fact, one could, a one could more accurately call it a mirror, a realm reflecting the hearts and memories of its chosen ones. However, not everything the mirror reflects is pleasant to look at. Forgotten tragedies, hidden insecurities, they all have the potential to be brought to the surface within these walls. A potential that you, Sir Sigurd, are well aware of by now. Mm hmm. Nothing but cheap mind tricks. It's all a ploy by you and your master to try and stop us. But it will never work. We will stop you, and we will take our world back from the Dark One. Do you hear me? I figured you would say something of the sort. You are one of those stubbornly courageous and idiotically determined heroes, after all. But I'm afraid you miss you underestimate the gravity of the truths you'll find. Should you continue this fruitless quest of yours, would you not rather see yourself as the man you are now? Then as the man you once were. What? It's a man with a heart as pure and noble as they come. A man whose greatest wish was to serve and protect others. Indeed, he strove to life, but to live by the ideals of heroism and chivalry above all else, were it not for one little detail. It began as an ache, an inconvenience, really, and certainly not something to worry over, was it? But the ache began to grow, then it began to spread, until his bosom burned like fire and his ribs became a vase for his, well, sorry, a vice for his lungs. He looked to every healer in the land for their expertise, but they could only do so much. For his affiliation was one that could never truly be cured.
<coughs> you, you fiend. <laughs> Keep laughing. How fascinating. I see your condition has followed you here after all. In that case, perhaps you can already guess what it will do to the man. No, stop it! First it will take his bones. Then it will seep into his blood, his heart, his liver, his kidneys, his brain. And finally, when his flesh is all but withered and the pain is too much to bear, ugh, he will have no choice but to beg heaven for the sweet release of death. N no, you're lying. I'm not. I'm... Oh no, I'm afraid I'll not rely on this scenario. I'm simply showing you your reflection in the mirror that is Toravira. If anything, you're the one lying to yourself. However, there is still a chance to save yourself and your friends from such a fate. If you abandon this meaningless quest of yours and leave this tower immediately, nothing waits for you here but suffering and death. No glory, no happy endings, only painful secrets that you'll wish you never uncovered. You can either succumb to those secrets or leave none the wiser. The choice is yours, Sir Sigurd. Sigurd, do not bend to this mistress. I... I... <coughs> uh... Ah! Nah, it hurts. I can't breathe. You need to calm down. Panicking will only make it worse. I can't... Uh... You're not going to die. You're going to be alright. For God's sake, just give him something already. Haven't you let him suffer enough? This is a flashback for Sigurd. Please, sweethearts, please try to be strong. Please try to be... Sigurd! Ah. Edric? <sighs> Sigurd, pull yourself together. Edric? I... I... I want you to listen to me. Whatever Twister's lies as witch has told you, you must not believe them. Now summon your courage and make her pay for all she's done. But, but I... Must I repeat myself, you idiot? We don't have time for you, just sit and doubt yourself. The sacred I know would never let his resolve waver like this. Your will is mightier than anything this tower can do to you. Edric. You're right. I... I have to be stronger than this. I'm sorry. I guess I'm not as brave as you guys thought after all. Save yourself pity. Our enemy won't be immobilized much longer. Let's go, Sigurd. Hmm. Snake. Impotent sorcerer. You dare interrupt my tea party and break my good china? Enough of your pretenses. You claim yourself to be nobility, but you're nothing more than a puppet of the Dark One. Surrender now, or pay for what you've done to my friend of your life. Hmm. <laughs> it seems that the time for civility and reason has passed. Very well, then. If I cannot convince you to leave Tulavira peacefully, then I suppose I'll have to do so by force. Quit yourself, vile serpent. Hmm. Keep it up, friends.
I'm guessing just like the other Guardian, this thing is going to be immune to status ailments. Uh, actually, you know what? No, because it's not yet gone down, down to that stage. Um. Uh, good, but not great at the same time. Thank you. Just keep doing shield breakers. Um. Just keep doing standard attacks. I'm fine with that. Mm. Rallying doesn't do that much. But at the same time, it really does. Um. We really, really do not have much to work with here. <sighs> Raining pedals. That sounds like the worst thing ever. Come on, please put paralysis, paralysis on this this fiend. This fiend that causes self nobility. Oh gosh, no, you're not going to break that easily, are you now? Ugh. Just hope you don't do something like you just did. Thank you. Just do another one. And then you heal him. Nice. In a way. Oh, go down already. Uh, why must we face a third guardian with only two people? This beggar's belief. Okay, so Earth. Oh, this has been his wind. And if that's the case, and we have nothing super effective against it now, do we? Heal yourself. You're literally the healer of our group now. That uh, uh, Lydia's not with us, unfortunately. First boss outside the demo. Good. Oh, for goodness sakes. Literally, you have to do that, don't you? You're immune. Oh. Running out of patience here. And items. <laughs> Developer, why'd you make this so hard? Okay, that, that's better. Maybe he doesn't like fire. Uh, just keep healing yourself. Thank you. Keep going. We won't let this serpent get the better of us. Gosh, all this damage and no results. Preparing for a devastating attack. That's no good. It must be halfway through its health then. No, don't drain my HP. And please attack Sigurd. We can't afford a fallen ally. Oh. Thank you. Thank the four gods that you didn't attack Sigurd. Um, uh, I could have just used the vendor actually as an alternative. Right. Um, another one. Good. Actually, that does more damage. No, it doesn't actually. Uh, potent medicine on him. Another devastating attack. How much HP does this witch have? Ugh. You keep draining my HP. Oh, that was basically a mulligan. You just had to be paralyzed, didn't you now? Uh, stimulant for him. Thank you for not doing anything barbaric. 
heal yourself. Uh, it's going to be another mulligan turn. Basically a turn where we don't really do any damage because of the amount that they gain back. Great, again with the paralysis. <sighs> Honestly, Sorcerer, do you truly think defeating me will prove your courage? You could slay every last monster in this tower and you'd still never be the protector she deserves. <laughs> Don't do that, fiend. Um, you. Goodness, I've never seen one man rely so heavily on herbal medicine before. A shame that the Drudis isn't here to help you, isn't it? Then again, you ought to be used to drugs by now. What with your condition and all. <laughs> Keep doing that, won't you now? Keep taunting us. Will not help you. Rally up. Hmm. Not much going on, unfortunately. Ugh. This is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Uh, another reason why I do not play many TBS games. Heal yourself. Shut up. I'm literally past your taunts at this point. Doesn't do much. What can one do in a situation where they literally got no items left other than to just, just embrace our fate? They're not Horde Crusher, that literally doesn't do anything. Please. Oh, how much HP does this person have? Yikes. Just an infinite amount of HP. Just go down already. Why did the developer put so much bloody HP into one thing? I'm just literally accepting my fate because it doesn't matter how much damage we do against this spin, it's not going to work. Go away. <laughs> I'm happy that we defeated the boss, but I'm not happy with the process on how we defeated it. Angel's elixir was found, purity elixir was found, water of life was found, Sigurd is now level 12, Edric is now level 12, water cannon was learned. Uh. Uh, uh, you fools. You have no idea what awaits you in this tower. The truths you seek will bring you nothing but despair. Silence, serpent. Your threats will not deter us. Now tell us what you've done with Lily and Ruby before I turn you to ash. 
<laughs> that I'm afraid I can't say, sorcerer. They've been left to one of my fellow guardians, so who knows what becomes of them? Another guardian? Then, then who are they? Well, yeah, then who are they? Where have they taken Ruby and Lydia? Answer me, damn you! <laughs> now, why would I tell you that, Sir Knight, after you and your bespectacled little friend ruined my tea party? But enough talk. I'm afraid I must forfeit this battle and tent my wounds. But rest assured that this will not be the last time we'll meet. I will not allow you to reach the top of Tora Vero. Mark my words. You blank. We're not through with you. Damn it. She got away. So it seems. But even so, we now know that the others are still inside Tora Vero. And hopefully holding their own against this other guardian that still but what that she mentioned. We have to hurry to their aid and continue our mission. Yeah, we do. Sigurd, I apologize for allowing that monster to torment you so. For it to have affected someone as strong willed as you, I can't imagine what she could have told you. You're right. You probably can't. Let's hurry up and get out of here, alright? I think I'll get sick if I stay here any longer. Sick? Never mind. I won't ask. Hopefully this place will be easier than, well, to leave than it was to enter. Let's search for an exit. The wood in the fireplace has been left smouldering. Don't tell me this is how you got down here, Edric. As if it was. Just be thankful I care enough about your well-being to get soot all over my uniform. <laughs> Nothing in there. I thought a little somebody said that there was a secret within the fireplace. But alas, that's not the case. A teleportation signal? I wonder where this one would lead us to. Hopefully one step close to finding the others. Though they won't know for certain until we use it. Let me know when you're ready to go, Sigurd. Let's do everything else first, like find items. You found a purity seal. Um, potent medicine. Potent tonic. Nice. We can't use stone cleaver here. Right, that's too bad. Edric, no, don't go in there. Hmm, why not? I don't want to talk about it. Just don't, alright? Hmm, if you say so. Anything else that we can take away from this? It's like if... Oh, that's why we can't use it, because we haven't got any mana. Yikes. That's why we can't use Stone Cleaver, because of that. That makes a lot more sense now. I thought all of that is just... <laughs> I thought all of that just rendered him useless. Well, not useless, but paralyzed with fear. Anything else that we can get from all this? Anything else? Anything? Oh, good. Another potent medicine. I apologize, folks. I really do. I'm sorry I got my la got my anger, but, but let my anger get the better of me. I don't want to do that because this is a wonderful game. But sometimes these scenarios just completely remove your sanity. But we defeated it. That's what matters. But this area is really tough. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's really tough. It uses up a lot of items. So what I would say in regards to this area is before you fight the Ice Guardian, 
make sure you have all of the equipment up to its absolute max stat capacities stats capacity but also shop for lots and lots and lots of healing items otherwise you're just going to get bogged down or if you don't use pickpocket enough you're going to get bogged down Hey, Edric. Hmm? What is it, Sigurd? That guardian. She said we'd regret it if we keep going. Do you really think we're ready to face what's at the top of this tower? I don't think we have much of a choice, Sigurd. Either we keep moving, or we flee and allow our world to pay the price for our cowardice. Do not allow that servant's wicked words to hold you back. Whatever awaits us, before of us will conquer it together <laughs> right of course we will because we're heroes of justice aren't we we cannot allow anything to get in our way of defeating the dark one exactly and here I was thinking you lost your touch Sigurd <laughs> well you're the one who helped bring it back so thanks Edric you're welcome I suppose now then let's move on shall we So how are the other two able to get to their single teleportation activator if they don't have Edric? Because they need Edric to be able to activate it. Fourth floor, the Tower of Ruins. Our hero where the other two lays. Hmm. Uh. What? Where? Where am I? Oh no, Ruby! Her life force, I can't. Ruby, Ruby, answer me, please! <sighs> She's alive. Oh, thank the gods, I was so scared, I... <laughs> Sob. What? Of, of course I'm alive. I've got a killer headache, but... Lily? Uh, hey, don't cry. I'm okay, I swear. I mean, you can sense my energy or whatever, can't you? So why would you think I was... Because I couldn't, Ruby. I couldn't sense anything from you. In fact, I can't sense anything at all. Monsters, plant life, I can't feel any of them. Really? Nothing at all? You're kidding me. Elves don't just lose their sixth sense like that. Something must have happened to you during that earthquake or... Where are the other two? Uh, oh hell, Liddy. I think this just went from bad to worse. I don't see Seagull Eddie anywhere. What? Actually, let's see how long I've been trundling through it. Okay, what? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, Sigurd, Edric, where are they? I don't know, but what I do know is that the Dark One must be behind us. That blank. Come on, Lily, we've got to find them. Yes, we have to hurry. But we have to be cautious as well. Without my sixth sense, I can't say for sure what kind of threats we'll encounter. I'm sorry, Ruby. Hey, don't apologise saying that's not your fault. We can manage without it for the time being. Now let's get going before those two idiots get themselves killed. We're almost dead. Right. Tower of Ruin. The beginning of our demise. Again. So if we can't sense any plant life, then that must mean one thing. Thanks. We just needed that, didn't we? Summon leaves from a holy tree to rend evil spirits, useful against undead enemies and grief eaters. I like the sound of that. This seems like an undead thing. Couldn't steal anything. Foul guile. 
Gale. Okay. I should learn from the first time. <laughs> so that's effective against them, which is good. Antidote. So the undead lurk here. That's why she can't use her energy. Docks, town gate, potter's house. I'll go to the potter's house first. Mm, there's something in there. Like if it's meant to heal us. But we can't go down there. Mm. Can't get there from this side. Let's keep going. Thank you. We can get items. Even if it's a horrific way of trying to get them though. Uh, flame arrow. Cool. Definitely a very worthwhile ability to have here. The one that's super effective against the undead. And a corpse warrior, how dare you join the fray. Nice. Good. Damn it. Ugh, do not have any effect on us, thank you very much. And the bloated one. Nice. But we're only steam antidotes at the moment. No actual healing items. But then again, we can just heal ourselves with Lydia's heal and cure abilities. Good. I'm in a better place now. You would try and poison us? Or remove us from existence? I don't think so. Nice. Good to hear. Ugh, gross. I don't even want to know what kind of diseases are swimming about in there. Don't worry, Ruby. It's perfectly safe to drink. This world is drawing from a mana spring, after all. The water's magical properties would keep it free from pollutants, even in a place like this. Really? Well, I'll take your word for it, but let's not, let's not take the risk unless we really need it. Um, no. We don't need it. Um... Let's see. Come on. Let's stop now, please. A worn yellowed note has been pinned beside the door. Dear brother, I've gone to your cottage to gather more firewood for the ritual. If you need anything, I've hidden the key inside one of your chests in our old secret cave hideout. Well, at least we know where to get the key then. Damn. Looks like we need to find a key if we're going to get inside. But this is a private property, Ruby. You're not suggesting we commit burglary, are you? Uh, yeah. That's my kind of thing, remember? Besides, this place looks like it hasn't been occupied in years. I don't think it'd even be considered burglary at this point. If there's anything useful in there, nobody's gonna miss it. Uh, right. I suppose not. It still feels awfully intrusive, though. Let's just find a key and get us over with, alright? I... agree, but still. Ruby does have a point. Go away. While we're super effective against you, our mana limits are definitely at their limits. We barely have enough items to keep us at bay. A holy elixir blended with the tears of a compassionate angel restores all HP and MP. That's like a full restore, isn't it? Uh, don't want to. We've got all this money and nothing to do with it. That's my least favorite thing ever. Having something, having a lot of something, but not being able to do anything with it, because the game denies you from being able to do it. Uh, lovely. Mana tonic. Good. Is there anywhere which I can use sniper on? I can use it on that though. Hopefully. Hmm. 
Then we run the right place. But that's not something which we can use sniper on. A crumbling reef covered in dirt and grime. Oh, what's this? No good. The text on this reef is too faded for me to read. Figures. Just when you think you found something useful. But it glows. You who dare tread on this forsaken ground. Who seek light amidst the shadow of death. O oh, thief and Drudus, shall unite or faith guide your treacherous path? Unity. Gee, it talked! You. You don't think this thing is haunted, do you, Lily? I can't say for sure without my sixth sense, but either way, it seems like it's addressing us personally. Shall unite or faith guide your path? Perhaps it's a riddle of some sort. I was afraid you'd say that, and we don't even have Eddie here to help us out. Don't doubt yourself like that, Ruby. I'm sure the two of us will figure it out. Right, if you say so. I guess the first thing we've got to do is choose between unity and faith, whatever that's supposed to mean. It is quite cryptic, isn't it? And I assume that neither and both would, wouldn't be acceptable answers. So we've got a 50-50 chance of being right, if there is even a right answer to begin with. Now to figure out which choice we're going to place our money on. We can't even... But then again, we can only do something in unity. Well, if it was solely up to me, I think I would choose unity. Hmm? Why is that? If you think about within the context of our journey, we've only been able to get as far as we have by working together, right? In fact, I'm certain that's the reason we were separated from Stigurd and Edric in the first place. After all, if we're strongest when we're together, our enemy would have every reason to tear us apart. So it stand, right, stands to reason that, more than anything, the unity the four of us share will be the key to our success, sorry. At least that's what I believe. Wow, good thinking, Lily. I mean, it's a bit corny, but in a way it's kind of true, isn't it? Alright then, let's go with your answer. Sorry, answer. Unity it is. You have chosen unity as your guide. But beware, brave heroes, for the waters are dark and untainted by sorrow. A boat? I suppose we have no choice but to travel these dark waters carefully. Yeah. But hey, at least nobody's about to ju sorry, around to judge us if we get seasick. Let's see where this old thing takes us, Lily. Board for the rowboat, yes please. Hmm. What do we do here? What is it with this crack? Surely this is Burning Man. No thanks. At least you thought at first interacting with that would just keep to drain us of our HP, sorry. A rose for the one who comforted me, upon whose blossom I will never rest again. Again, stress. Nice. Oh, we're supposed to do one of these. died? I think that means we picked the wrong flower, but it also means it's got to be one of the other three, right? So come on, let's put the green thumb of yours back to work. Hmm, alright. The rose for one who comforted me, upon whose bosom I will never again rest.
This is another reason why I hate riddles, because it's just so cryptic, but you have to know the meaning behind the text. And I do not. It's red. A bed of roses. And Nat opened up some stairs. Hmm. Got nowhere else to go. A golden rod for the one who protected me, upon whose shoulders I will never again be lifted. Ruby? Huh? What's up? Is, is it just me or... Or what? Lydia, is something wrong? No, it must be my imagination. I'm sorry for asking such silly questions. Goldenrod. Thank you. Next one. So we've done blue, oh sorry, we've done red and yellow, so it's either got to be blue or purple next. It's blue. A blue bell for the innocent and young whose future to which I can never bear to witness. Okay, when we originally went in here, I didn't even see that there were blue, red, or purple flowers. Even though red is opposite to green, the first flowers that I saw there were the yellow ones because they were the brightest ones. Blue. Nice. And then last it shall be purple. Mikala. A violet for all my most cherished friends, whose love I fear will vanish in an instant. Liddy. Hey, get a hold of yourself. You're shaking like crazy. What? I... Ruby, I don't like this place. I... Yeah, I can tell. Let's hurry up so we can get you out of here ASAP, alright? This is about... Lydia's past. Why is there something over here? Like, why would there be a stairway there? Or a path over there? If it didn't mean anything. Great. Now a huge bunch of them. This is really deep. These flowers I grow for the ones I adore. All while the flames of regret burn my spirit to dust. Not the fire word. I, everyone, I, I. She don't like fire. What the? Liddy, come on. We've got to get out of here. This tower is shown a manifestation of our reflections. God damn it all. Liddy, Liddy, snap out of it. Lydia. Ah. Uh. It is a, as the serpent says. This tower is testing our psychosis. Lily. <laughs> Oof! Hey, what are you? Ruby, Ruby, don't leave me. You, Edric, Sigurd, everyone. Please don't leave me alone. I'm begging you. Come on, Lily. You... You know we never do that. You're our friend. No, you're more than that. You're like family to us. You are family to us. Siggy would never turn his back on you. And Eddie, he'd... He'd do anything for you. And of course, I'll be there for you too. No matter what. So you've got to be strong, Lily. The Dark One's trying to mess with your head. 
And you've got to fight back. Ruby. Thank you. I'll try. I'll... Right. That's a spirit. Now, come on. Let's get going. You blank. When I get hands on you, Dark One, you're going to pay for making my friend cry. It's not that simple, Ruby. This tower... There's more to it than we could have ever imagined. It's not just the dark one we have to fear. These horrible feelings trapped in the back of our minds. But we have to face them as well. You're just as smart as Edric is. I don't want to face them. I just... I just want us all to be together again. So do I. No more. Okay. So where's the key in this place? There's supposedly a key within this cave. It must be within that chest. It's a pad. Hey, didn't we see one of those when we first got off the boat? I, I believe so. It looks like a warp tile, like those we saw in that frozen chamber. At last, I hope it is. I don't think I could bear going through that place again. Needy. Let's get this key and be on our way. Wait, how do we even... Ah, we go around. Okay, cool. What an odd place to keep so many crates. I wonder what they're for. Well, we've already established that this tower makes about as much sense as I do when I'm drunk, so who knows. In any case, they're in our way. If Eddie were here, I'm sure he would just burn them all up. How about we try pushing them instead? They don't seem to be very heavy. After all... Ugh, I was afraid you'd say that. Okay, fine, but you're healing me if I pull a muscle or something, got it? Hee <laughs> hee, I'd be happy to, Ruby. Push you there. Push you over there. Push you over here. Use undergrowth here. And then get that from there. Okay, then push this down here. Then that over there. Then this over here. Push this out of the way. We're going to be coming back here. Or maybe we could only make the choice of one of them. Because we can't access the other one now. You found a wooden Ifigi. Ugh, what's this freaky looking thing? Some kind of doll? I don't think that was intended to be a toy, Ruby. Judging by the intricate designs, this probably has some sort of ritualistic purpose. Yeah, okay. But did they have to make it look like a creepy little girl? There's no way it's not cursed. Now, Ruby, we don't know that for certain. And I really don't want to know for certain. Let's get rid of it as soon as possible, okay? Alright, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to have to come back in to get the other piece. There's no way we're going to be able to get both of them at the same time. Good. Hopefully it resets. Yes, it does. Go away. So the only other way around we can do this is push those and then push those. Push that. Get there. Oh, we could have done them all at the same time because we could have done that first. Then go around here. Then push that into there. Then push it up. I'm such a dumb dumb. <laughs> I found the way, guys. I found the way. Bunny man's not going to do... With this encounter rate, for goodness sakes, no thank you. I don't like a high encounter rate, thank you very much. Yes, please. We will return to here. And then... Hopefully, as we can get to the blue crystal, we can save our progression for today. Please stop. Uh, but it's nice not... To doing a lot of crops every once in a while as in like cropping up a video so it skips down all the battles because all the battles are pretty intense so folks thank you so much for watching i apologize for all the times i've gotten angry in this episode i really do i feel bad for being angry i don't want to be angry because this is a wonderful game but the battles themselves alongside the riddles really do grind in my gears <laughs> grind my gears however you want to call them. It's temporary, 
I'll look back upon this and see that why did I get aggravated in the first place. But it's the heat of a moment thing, sort of thing. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, folks. We'll be returning to this very soon. So have a good day, and see you all in the next time. Have a good day, and take care of yourselves.